Hello, this is Mike DeVrat. I'm with SBAR Heaters. Today we're here to talk about the removal and replacement and troubleshooting of a fuel pump and replacing an SBAR fuel filter on the inlet side of the pump. People normally replace fuel filters for no starts on their heaters or if a heater is smoking continuously while it runs. If you're looking at replacing fuel pumps, that's normally because of a Code 48. Code 48 is actually open circuit electrical, commonly to the pump, not necessarily the pump. If you want to test the pump, you would unplug the connector, the electrical connector, you would ground one terminal, pulse power to the other terminal. The terminals are not polarity sensitive, and a 12 volt source is fine to do this with. If your pump ticks, your pump is good. That is the piston hitting the cylinder head, so your pump is working. If your fuel pump is mounted on chassis, remember the fuel pump angle must be above 15 degrees. The optimum angle is 15 to 35. The electrical connector or the fuel outlet side is always the high side. So it must be above 15 degrees, optimum 15 to 35. If you need to replace the fuel filter, the pumps are commonly found on chassis. So what you will do is remove the fuel line off the inlet side of the pump, if this is per se an international. Once the fuel line is off the inlet side of the pump, I will take a 12 millimeter backing wrench. You'll take a 17 millimeter wrench. You will loosen the inlet cap. I'll unscrew the cap. At this point in time, you've exposed your fuel filter. Take a 90 degree pick, get in, grab hold of the old filter, take your new fuel filter, place it in the inlet side of the cap. If the filter has been removed, it should be replaced because the nylon ring on the inlet side is a crush washer. You'll take your cap, screw it back on the inlet side, take my 12 millimeter backing wrench, my 17 millimeter wrench to tighten the cap up. Put my fuel line on, plug my electrical connector in if I've unplugged it. Now, if I happen to be working on a Freightliner, Freightliner's fuel pumps are found on top of the fuel tank on a brass fitting. On a Freightliner, to replace the pump or the filter, you would remove the fuel line clamp, pull the fuel line off the outlet side of the pump. Your brass fitting would be mounted on the tank. So you would use a three quarter inch wrench to hold the brass fitting and your 12 millimeter backing wrench. You will hold that there. You will then loosen it, unscrew the pump, remove the old fuel filter, replace it with a new fuel filter. On the Freightliner, you should use Teflon tape or a Teflon base pipe sealant on the threads. Just a dab to seal the threads. Take great care as to not to get sealant in the fuel filter. You screw it back onto the standpipe. Take your three quarter inch wrench to hold the brass fitting. Your 12 millimeter wrench will then tighten the pump on. Slide your fuel line back on. 
Move your fuel line clamp back to its proper position. Plug your connector in and you're done.